All right, in this video, I'll share with you um, the sad reality as to why Indians, okay, do not know how to behave with women. Okay, now being an Indian myself, an Indian passport holder, I, I was, you know, born and raised in an Indian family, even though I was in Dubai, I had Indian friends, I studied in uh, Indian management school, where they used to keep the girls in the morning shift and the boys in the afternoon shift. Um, there were these particular rules and taboo uh, things that, oh, he, he's talking to a girl. Oh, look, he behaves like a girl. Or, How can he meet this girl? Or, in fact, uh, just so that you know, the first letter that I wrote to a girl uh, at the age of, um, I think I was in the ninth standard, ninth, uh, I don't know how old are you, 14 years or something. My... Uh, this girl, piece of shit that she is, she was a family friend. And when we went to a house for a party during Easter, she leaked this. It was just a letter that I wrote to a girl. I think her name was Rosie. Hi, I just want to be your friend. You're very nice. I written two, three lines. And uh, my she showed everyone. See, Loy wrote a love letter to a girl. And my father got so embarrassed, my stepfather, he went home and he beat me violently. So I'm very aware of how Indian families, some traditional families, I don't know if uh, families are traditional nowadays, how they behave, how they act and um, what are the implications. So I'm going to give you the um, seven or eight reasons, maybe nine, uh, as to why Indians do not know how to behave with women or girls. And you can tell me if I'm right or wrong. Feel free to correct me and say, no, this is outdated or this is still followed. And if I missed any points, please do add. Okay. See, the first basic fundamental is, you know, education, like they say, begins at home. Okay. You get your character from uh, looking at your father, uh, from looking at your mother. You get your behavior patterns, uh, corrections. So... I'm not saying that the father is bad or the mother is bad, but if the father himself is ignorant, he doesn't know how to interact with women, how can he teach you these traits? If the mother herself has not uh, seen the world, how is she going to uh, instill these values, this open vision? Um, they will just tell you what they know out of the limited. Like, for example, it's not uncommon for a father or a mother to say, Pray to Lord Shiva or Lord Ganesha and you'll get good marks in the exam. Go to the temple and pray or go to the church or uh, listen to your grandmother. Take up blessings. Otherwise, you'll never succeed in life. These are, I'm not saying these are bad things, but these are traditional values that people follow. And if you have a father, for example, father or mother who has never traveled outside her village or her town, Outside, let's say someone who has never traveled outside Mumbai or India, I'm not even saying outside India, say outside your own village or town, if you have not gone, how, how would you know what is the perspective outside? Yes, today you have social media, you have YouTube and all that, but that is not the real thing. That is just a fantasy land that you're seeing. And I'll tell you, social media is also, I will be speaking about it, but uh, the, the very fact that a father or mother has not traveled, uh, they have not seen the world, they do not have the opportunities or the means to go about, then how will they survive? Okay, so and what will they teach you? And then if a father himself doesn't know how to behave, okay, then what values will you get? Like I, I know one of our clients, his father, really, huh, his father doesn't look at any other female other than you know, his family people. And even he is a Muslim, by the way, South Indian Muslim. Even the females in the family, they have to go, like, if a guest comes, they have to go inside the room. And he sits like uh, like an alpha male, like a godfather there. So the females are put at the back. And when a guest has come, the female has to be covered. And uh, I know you might say, are you serious? But this does happen. And by the way, uh, this family is based in Dubai. Okay, this is not an outdated village family. They are based on and this is how they acted. And I know not just one. I know many families like that where they actually cover. Now, uh, uh, Hindu families where <coughs> they are slightly liberal, but still the girls are not allowed to come out that easy. So you can only, if there are men, there are only men talking. And 
you can even see this in parties when there are men men huddle together even though it's an open party men huddle together women huddle together you'll never see women together with men unless of course the husband and wife is meeting a husband and wife so the first most fundamental basic is it comes from family education starts from home okay uh what your how your father behaves how your mother behaves how your family members behave is how you will behave how your culture is how your religion especially religion like islam and hinduism and uh, christianity and okay christianity is slightly open minded but that doesn't mean they promote anything and everything if you don't communicate the values like i you know a lot of christians go on go on are supposed to be very open minded the thing about them is they're very friendly but the minute they get drunk this even mangalorians go and they look at every female sexually as if they are deprived animals as if they never had sex in their life you you're talking of 50 year old men i've done this because i was in uh, i was a dj and anchor for shows and we used to see these guys who were my clients who used to pay me money and they would sit at a like a vip table and uh, you know as they were uh, 50 year old 60 year old guys sexualizing their own like friends and uh, family members daughters look at her ass man i just feel like bang it <laughs> and they would laugh like so it it is not like oh muslims are narrow minded christians are broad minded no it is across the board and uh, i i told you this when um, i initially asked to put videos about bjp and all that in uh, india i used to get hindu guys hindus from north india who used to call me up and say how much one night for my kid and how much to you know fill in the blanks with sexual bad words about my wife and daughter actual not fake profile hindu guy okay so you'll say oh this is one no no this is not a one off case these are many cases just go to youtube google search why do you think there are so many indians when they see a white female oh photo 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 please and they act as if they, they, they are a goddess or something and you get sometimes chinese stories all that we have had in holi uh, there are <coughs> they they say holi happy holi and all that and they will put the color but they will touch the female on her private parts uh, you had even this uh, i think korean or chinese uh, japanese vlogger the guy was flashing his private part so where does this come from this comes from home the values that are thought or not thought and um, you know how your character is built up so the first one comes from home okay the second one is the place where you hang out the most after home it is school and if in your school like me we had boys separate girl separate so obviously looking at a girl you'll be like oh girl girl you know you'll be like oh it's a golden opportunity to look at a girl and obviously boys would try to you know flex their whatever muscles or flex their yeah you know some they would stand in a group and try to look at a girl and girls would walk and so girls are seeking attention guys are seeking attention both of them are seeking attention why because they get separate but that doesn't mean if your co education it gets any better but it's far more better than being separate far more better than being segregated uh here my daughter she studies in thai school where boys and girls are together they they are they go out play together they even have the afternoon where they sleep you know obviously separate like you know uh, it's not like boys here the girls here they'll all sleep together under the supervision of the uh, teacher but they when they see a guy or they see a girl they are very normal people they are not like hyper they are not like crazy they are not like a oh, girl oh guy and you know the conversations that i have with my uh, daughter when i tell her see uh, don't allow a man to touch you here don't allow to touch you here don't keep uh, sit with your legs open like she has a skirt so obviously don't sit with your legs open and you know so we teach her we have this uh, these dialogues or this communication so she understands and if this boy comes and gives you a hug you know what you have to do even a girl comes and gives you a hug i i tell her you know respect boundaries so given the fact that she spends a maximum time in school um and she's exposed to boys she doesn't look at it as a big deal in fact my daughter is more like a tomboy but now imagine if a girl were only to mix with girls and a boy was to mix only with boys it becomes have you noticed this by the way have you noticed in india if a boy is kept and suddenly introduced to a girl he's very shy he's like this is like this not just a small boy 
young men when they are introduced to a girl they like they shy or they put on an accent or they puff up their chest or they, they don't know how to behave because they've never seen a girl in their life and girls on the other hand they are like they, they find it so funny because girls reach maturity you know due to their biological you know setup uh, they get their periods and all that so <laughs> they you know parents are forced to have this conversation with them about pregnancy and all but boys i'm telling you this there has always been a fact if you bring a boy and introduce him to a bunch of girls indian boy he will be shy he will alone he will not know what to do try bringing a boy from the uk us who interacts with boys and girls and bring them he will just mix he will not feel oh this is a girl this is a guy so <laughs> the indian education the indian schooling system they uh, you know it's very limited and they don't teach you these skills at all okay that is number 2 <clears throat> number 3 is after family after school comes the friend circle and this is unfortunately one of the biggest uh, areas where you get the impact you know you mix around with a group of good kids you'll get good values you'll get good habits you mix around with a bunch of bad kids with bad upbringing with bad parenting uh, your kids will become rotten um, <clears throat> i'm very mindful as to who my daughter hangs around with who are the boys and girls um we you know we kind of inspect and kind of have a look how does this girl behave how does this guy behave i'm not saying it's uh, you know we are only choosing the best of the best but we have to be careful like for example if this is a real example if you see a girl uh, who is hanging around with your daughter for example and she is busy digging her nose and scratching her private parts and uh, acting all funny and weird and screaming and shouting and that is not an ideal girl for your daughter to interact with or if you see a boy and he is a bully and he pushes and he screams and shouts and hits and throws stones you know if your child your son or daughter were to mix with that child it will get those habits so you need to be very careful who the friends are and i'll tell you uh, just in, if you are a parent just invite your uh, daughter or son and their friends take them for a picnic or take them for a ride and just or go to a shopping mall give them money see how they behave you know from afar that is what their real habits are that is what their real mannerisms are and if you invite them over the period of time like even sitting at the dinner table if the way they act and the way they behave once they are relaxed no not the first time after the 10th time you can make out what is what how they think and how they'll influence your kid because remember birds of the feather flock together and they will behave in the same manner and if you have a bad selection of friends well you will have bad habits number 4 day to day interactions okay um the only time which i have known guys and girls interact especially indians is when they join the corporate world or when they join college obviously college is a kind of embarrassment because they are acting like hindi filmy hollywood heroes and they try to you know put a hairstyle be like shahrukh khan or john abraham or show their chest or act like a gangster and all that so that is maybe the first interaction which they have guys and girls and then they have groups but the actual and obviously they get introduced to sex romance relationships but the actual hardcore interactions are when you start going into the corporate world that is where let's say you're in a call center or you're just as a junior and you have men and women you know interacting with each other that is where you start getting exposed to more freedom because obviously your parents are not there and during uh, the lunch break or the thing you can go and eat and dine outside so those interactions also do matter Un- unfortunately um uh, based on the um uh, you know the area that you are Bombay girls and Bombay guys behave different. Kerala girls, Kerala guys behave different. Uh, boys and girls from Kolkata behave different. From Bihar, different different regions they behave differently. And then the socio economic uh, factors like uh, are you dealing with the people from multinational companies? Are you dealing with middle class people? Are you dealing with the lower level strata? So uh, when they interact with people. based on the interactions it will affect their behavior i'll give you a small example to make you understand i had this guy who studied many years abroad uh, he's in delhi he studied um, 
in uh, western countries he traveled around and then obviously he had to come back to delhi because his parents uh, settled down there and he booked a session of mine and uh, he was actually crying he was actually crying a very educated a smart guy good job good uh, salary good everything and he was crying i was like why are you crying and he said that my height is only 5 feet 5 inches or something like that and i said uh, okay so he said all my friends are 6 feet and above and girls prefer guys who are taller i'm known as they call me shorty shorty and i said 5 feet 5 is not actually short he said no you don't understand everyone six feet he was actually depressed and he was contemplating even doing extreme stuff like breaking his leg and going through operations and all that. like what the hell like you know just imagine so your day to day interactions with people also do matter man it's it's kind of crazy a lot of pressure huh? by the way peer pressure as you can say number 5 um who are the adults that you hang around with do you hang around with mature people do you hang around with role models do you hang around with the people who are just you know uh, your office colleagues who are boozers and who just go to bars and pubs so when you have a role model and when you have someone senior the way they behave it reflects on you in fact the first time i went to a prostitute was how uh, the guys who was hanging around were all adults they just it was my birthday and you know they used to go to prostitutes they used to do the thing i used to never engage with them but one day as we were going out it was my birthday i didn't know what they had in mind they took me with them and next thing you know is i'm seated here and they they bring these you know bunch of girls and they're like okay loy happy birthday choose i'm like choose what they like, choose this is your birthday gift and i really i was not thinking about it i was not in a frame of i didn't want it but then now what do you do peer pressure everyone saying choose and then the the pimps are there hey don't waste our time choose i had to choose and next thing you know i'm with this girl very beautiful uh, and i'm with her in the bedroom and i don't know what to do so i'm not going to give you all the details of what happened but you 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 see the it was because of the people that i was hanging around with the, these guys guys were like 10 15 years elder to me and they done all this so you see how it impacted me so the adults that you hang around with also shape the saying uh, your life your your preferences your tastes and uh, did it kind of have a massive impact in my life not actually but then i did think of going four five times which i did but eventually i decided to go not go because there was no connection it was just like pay money get the job done i was not that kind of a guy thankfully <coughs> number 6 this one is a big one and that is the movies that we watch see movies influence us uh, if i were to ask you which is your favorite movie uh, if i say shawshank redemption if i say green mile if i say gangs of wasepur if i say satya if i say star wars um, you you know these are movies that we remember like forest gump and you know uh, lagan and um, you know whatever So but if you actually see indian movies bollywood movies what did they show when the you know in fact my wife and uh, the uh, thai people they have this way of making fun of uh, hindi movies they say the girl is running the guy is chasing her ling 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 and she goes behind the tree and the guy and she'll be <laughs> you, you know like movement of the chest and movement of the uh, hips and they will put their dress low what 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 do they show they always show the girl is moving her breasts up and down her hair is moving and she is dancing in a very sexual way and she is showing her waist which is slim and then she is gyrating her hips and moving her hips uh, what is that you're sexualizing a female basically sexualizing a female and, she, oh, oh, and you know where do the eyes go for the indian public when they see all this where are you focusing on you're focusing on the breasts you're focusing on her private regions you're focusing on her hips you're focusing on her waist so when you sexualize women that way uh, isn't that what you will be targeting the girl is always like you know with lips like this and uh, you know that the guy is very macho so it's unfortunate but th- this is the kind of entertainment that youngsters are exposed to so it gets brainwashed it gets hardwired in their brain this is how females are this is what i need from females this is how a 
female should be okay and uh, then you can move into more hardcore kind of entertainment which is porn and uh, guess what they youngsters get brainwashed into thinking this is what females want and this is what you need to give it to them it's very unfortunate and uh, uh, i'll i'll speak on the smartphones at his last and number 7 is um which which once again is a very unfortunate thing is um because of because of their loneliness most of the men india in india you earn less okay you don't earn much so the lifestyle early morning you get up you have to travel by bus you have to travel by train taxi maybe one hour two hours okay you don't get time to interact with anyone then when you go to the workplace focus on the workplace and you're there until you're dead tired and then you come back taxi traffic jam and then when you come home you're dead tired you're dead tired you can hang around maximum with your small little uh, bunch of friends so where is the opportunity the lifestyle is so dead and even if if you have to meet a girl or something you have to go to a shopping mall and <coughs> there you have to spend money but what is the interaction there and then out of desperation out of absolute desperation you might try to interact with the girl but girls themselves they are not exposed to the world so they act funny and you you know it it becomes such a complicated affair where then it's just lose lose you know everyone is a loser in this whole bargain so what is the safest getaway for these men who don't want to face rejection who don't want to go through all this time well number 8 which is the ultimate disaster social media and smartphones what do you do tinder just uh, you can see 500 profiles yes 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 keep swiping you don't care who it is you get porn sites free coverage so that shapes your mentality that shapes your thinking that shapes your habit and i've even had clients who have known for uh, some time young men they get onto these chat sites where they'll give you 15 minutes or 20 minutes for free you can chat with a real person so to speak and before they know it they're not even aware that after 15 minutes you have to put your card and all the details that this girl is mesmerizing you so much that you can't cancel the card either it's a trick of uh, how this the cancellation process is because they don't make it easy they'll tell you cancel you'll think it's just a button but then you have to go and check oh to this page are you sure go to this page and then reloading takes time and before you know it you're already charged i had this client of mine who hardly earns anything and he ended up losing 80 dollars now 80 dollars may not be much to you and me but for him it was his monthly savings you know is 2 uh, 3 months savings he lost 80 dollars because they played a trick on him and all he had to do all he wanted to do was just chat with the girl he was lonely so and when you have these filters and when you have this make believe situations and obviously you compare yourself oh he's living in us he's living in canada he has this girl so that kind of influences you and that adds to your low self esteem and that adds to all the challenges that you face so overall see given the fact that indians number one is india is not a very modern place they are modern in maybe in certain areas like technology but where culture tradition behavior beliefs superstition is concerned it's very backward that is why even today even today marriage they want what do the guys say there are guys in my group who are educated who say i want a virgin why do they say they want a virgin a guy need not be a virgin girl has to be a virgin then what else do they say oh, i want a girl to serve my mother see the language serve my mother serve my father take care of the family serve me so they want a kind of a slave it's like sometimes the way they talk is like you want a maid right okay but then you will point fingers at me didn't you want the same you wanted a housewife yes i provide her at least 1000 2000 3000 dollars per month if you can afford that much fine then you can get a partner see she doesn't have to work a single day doesn't have to work at all she has access to the bank she doesn't have to worry it's given to her so if you can provide 1000 2000 3000 dollars per month money you spend it the way but obviously you need to be responsible you can't just spend on crazy things 
and you can take care of family yes then the housewife role is justified but if you're earning peanuts and you want you know most of the young men it's very sad to say most of the young men get married because they want free sex they don't want to pay for sex they just want free sex and that's why they get married and that again is unfortunate what what, what do you do about it so when you combine all these factors no this adds to the disaster of having um an indian who doesn't know how to behave with females and i'm not saying that it's only indian men indian women also their mentality the way they think i've made a separate video you know why not to marry an indian female that itself is uh, i don't need to repeat that video but the, it's a big headache yeah. the expectation levels are through the roof in fact when a guy wants to marry a girl uh, they will ask you what is your education uh, how much are your earnings how much is your property uh, where are your savings uh, are you plan to go to the west you know they literally take your interview as if uh, it's like going to the best bidder it's like bidding a bidding war it's not like your character it's based on your bank balance money because obviously the parents want the daughter to get a king's life so they are looking for a guy who literally will serve the daughter that also is there so expectations are very unrealistic both the sides <coughs> so these are the reasons why indians i guess have a major challenge and don't know how to behave with women and that's why when they say women oh and um, like i told you most of the indian men when i have spoken to them they will say if you ask them why you want to marry oh i want to marry a girl of character and good and this and that the reality is i want to get married uh, so that i can have uh, free sex every day seriously <laughs> when they open up they finally say i'm lonely i'm feeling alone i don't get any girlfriend yeah you just want sex every day free sex that's what you want so it's unfortunate but this is how life is and then they want girl will serve me serve my parents listen to me dance to my tune uh, you know it's it's sad and yes because most important i want a virgin i want a virgin uh, you know what do you do anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you agree disagree and uh, what do you think are the solutions man because for me the only way you can get away from all this is you have to get away from that environment the education the people and once you go abroad obviously new surroundings new environment new exposure that's how you learn and grow anyway this is what i wanted to share with you let me know your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly feel free agree disagree i would definitely be reading it you guys take care this is me signing off